guys, Johnny Mac here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about what makes a good photo. Alright, let's get to it. I'm going to open up Lightroom here. Things I look for are three main components of your photo. So, this one, I like the trailhead, that will grab your eye, and the sky was very interesting. The uh, middle section right here, obviously it's the Grand Canyon, so that, uh, that'll do it. If you guys didn't know, I went to the Grand Canyon and hiked it with my grandpa. So, uh, yeah, that was awesome. So the first thing we're gonna do is bump up our exposure. Actually, though, let's not do that. Let's bring that back down to normal, actually. And let's bring highlights down little bit. Let's go down and bring shadows up like such. So right now what we're trying to do is even out the lighting from the sky and the foreground here. Let's add a little bit of clarity. Just get that over with. Now let's bring shadows down just a little Add highlights down a little bit. Alright, now let's grab our brush tool right here. Go make it exposure and bring it to about minus six is fine. Whenever I am using my brush tool, I always select auto mask. So here's a trick for you. When using the brush tool, if you want to deselect something, you can hold Alt and drag across, and it should take it away. Next thing we're going to do is take a brush tool again, go to clarity, bring our clarity up about. Uh, 49 is fine. We're going to bring out some clarity in the focal points of the photo. One of the things that make photos so great are the sky, actually. Interesting clouds can be the difference between a great photo and an alright photo. So let's go ahead and turn saturation up because obviously it did not look like that in the Grand Canyon. So let's pull the colors up a bit. Alright, so the next thing I look at is I don't like how blue it's getting in here. It looks like it's uh it's getting faded out, so let's bring that back. So first thing we need to do is zoom in. Grab a brush tool, and it looks like it's too blue, so what I'm going to do is grab a saturation tool here, and bring the saturation down, and what that will do is bring it back to an orangish color. You can make your brush tool bigger by using the bracket buttons, and go ahead and just even out color base here. So obviously your photo is not going to be the same as mine, but what you could do is look and see if there is any color unevenness in your photo to make sure you got that squared away. So now if we zoom back out, see, um, zoom back out, start springing out there. It's looking a little better. Now we're going to go take clarity to bring it up. So the reason I'm doing this is because the um, mountains in here are saturated plenty. Actually, let's take our shadows and bring them down a bit. See what that does. So the reason I'm adding contrast is because if you look, this is really flat. 
So see, there's no shadows in here. So what we're gonna try to do is create some shadows, especially like in this canyon through here, and up on this ridge line to make it look real. That should just bring out the shadows in your photo. So what was actually happening in this photo is I was on the hike out, and if you zoom in very far, you can see where I was. You can see a little trailhead right here. I actually hiked from the bottom all the way up through into the um, Indian Gardens in here. And then we spent the night there. That was our second night. And then we actually hiked out. So this was on the hike out pretty early in the morning. So the sun was rising. And as you can see, the sun was, since I was in this canyon here, it wasn't, hadn't reached me yet. So I think you can see the sun's hitting right here. And then it's coming all through the valley here, but it's not touching us here. So it actually created like a really cool contrast. And uh, just took a quick picture of that. The next step we're gonna do I always like to do this is enable profile corrections so you can just see a warp difference. So basically what this is doing is correcting all the defects in your lens and add a graduate filter. So I've explained this in my previous video but what a graduate, graduate filter does is on one side of the filter it is edited by whatever you put in here and on the other side on this side it's going to be the same as it was so we're gonna bring this down to the skyline that's just fine and then since we still have rocks here and the skyline's uneven what we're gonna do is drag this up so you get a little more blending. So basically what that's doing is whatever I edit here is gonna blend until here. And whatever remain the same here is gonna remain the same until here. And so this is just a blend current, I guess you'd say. All right, so on the top, we're gonna to bring our exposure down just a tad. Not too much. It's starting to look cool. Right up there. Highlights up actually. Which sounds weird. But clouds are actually pretty bright. So it doesn't look natural if you don't do that. Bring your clarity all the way up. Don't, um, don't be hesitant on bringing your clarity up in the sky because the sky actually. I don't know. It looks, it looks pretty good. The one thing you have to be careful about with bringing clarity so far up is if you bring it too far, the blues kind of get a little too blue. Never bring saturation up in your sky. It will just ruin your blue sky in the photo. Okay, now we're gonna focus on the foreground. Make sure we get all that right. Um, let's add a little more clarity in the trail here. You can see the trail down here. So let's take a brush tool and bump up our clarity. Just follow the trail down. And you can even go down here a little bit if you want. You see if you can draw the eye to that. All right, this is looking just about done. So now we're gonna take another adjustment brush and more clarity in the sky. I know you can't go wrong but this time instead of randomly smearing it around the sky what we're gonna do is you're going to follow these little trails in the sky here so what that does is just kind of brings the eye to one point 
I hope you took away a little bit from this video. I'm going to start doing a lot of these videos on Lightroom edits. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, and comment as always. See you guys next time. Johnny Mike out.